Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Server Play. This is Scooch42. Um, I am making some preparations uh, to get into Batania. Uh, I know it may not look like it, uh, but I am going to want a fair amount of wood. Uh, anyone that's familiar with Batania knows why I want a lot of wood. I'm going to want to make a fair amount of living wood. And going through all of the different things we can make uh, to automate the process of getting wood, uh, I came across the plant sower and the plant gatherer. Uh, let's see, plant sower, where did you go? Plant sower. Uh, there he is. If we look at them, it says it plants seeds and saplings to be gathered in the plant gatherer. You can lock the slots by clicking in the lock and it will filter the inputs. The colored background represents the colored parts in the top of the block. Uh, it looks simple enough to craft. Uh, we do need to get a little bit of uh, the plastic cooked up. Let's see if I've got, yeah, that'll cook in there pretty good. Uh, and let's start looking at the plant gatherer and see what I'm going to need for it. Uh, we need an iron hoe, check, and we'll need two iron axes, check, plant gatherer. We need some gold gears, check and check, and we'll need a little bit of redstone and a machine case, check. And I think you guys can see why I wanted to have the redstone in the compacting drawer. Uh, that made it super easy to craft that. Uh, and the plant sower again. Where'd you go? Plant sower. Well, uh, we'll want a machine case for this guy as well. Uh, and now I believe we're just waiting on uh, some of this plastic. And I think we may have enough now. Uh, so let's get a plant sower. Where'd you go? There you are, plant sower. There we go. And we'll want the plant gatherer. And let's see what kind of saplings we have. Uh, I think for simplicity's sake, uh, let's just start off with some oak saplings. And I'm going to try to set this up over in this general area. Let's take a nap first. Uh, really trying to avoid dying. Uh, I know we have a good way of storing our experience now, uh, but I'd still rather not die if I don't have to. Uh, I think most people uh, can understand the logic of that. There we go. And let's go ahead and knock these down. I don't really know uh, how these blocks are going to work together. Uh, I know that uh, industrial foregoing is a kind of successor uh, to the mine factory and mine factory reloaded. Uh, I am aware of that, but believe it or not, I uh, never really played around with those mods a whole lot. Uh, most of my experience in automating things in Minecraft is uh, really, believe it or not, strictly with Ender IO. Uh, so this pack has really been a little bit of a challenge for me, and I have no idea uh, what kind of a range we have for this, this kind of stuff. Let's see. <clears throat> You're going to need some power. Um, so I think, let's see about getting an energy cell out here, because I don't know. I mean, I guess we can try it with the old uh, redstone wireless battery transfer. Let's try that first and see how it does. I uh, still got a couple of those, so let's see, because I honestly don't know if the gatherer is going to need power either. And so this may just be a simple way uh, for us to get these items together. And I'm going to kill you before you see me. There you go. Nice. Uh, so let's see uh, how this is going to work. Let's get this down. I think maybe just right there will be good. Uh, and hopefully you're powering now. Uh, it is starting to store the energy. 
Okay, uh, so let's get these saplings in here. And let's just see what happens. I hope there's enough space over here. Now let's go ahead and lock that inventory. And you uh, are always active. It looks like you're almost full. But I don't know uh, exactly how it is going to start planting this stuff. I don't know if it needs to... I mean, it is using energy, that is for sure. I don't know if it needs to be full, though. Hmm. Seed inputs. Energy, energy items. Show working area. Okay. Oh, I see. This needs to go underground. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. You need to go two blocks down I think we can do that that that's kind of cool so let's put you down well that was the gatherer I want the sower so let's pick you back up and let's get you down there. There you go. And let's get you. Yeah. Okay. And can I put one there? Sure. We are going to need to move this though. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's get you moved. Uh, maybe over here. No, how about, let's, I, I think maybe right here. So I'm thinking this guy is going to have a similar radius. Let's try placing you like that. What happened? Where, where did he go? Did any, anybody else see that? What just happened? Seriously? Um, okay, well, maybe let's try to craft another one, I guess. I have no idea what just happened. It just kind of disappeared on me, and it's not like it's a phantom block. That is really weird. Oh, he's back, okay. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Um, I'm thinking that's the side I'm going to want facing the plants, though. So let's see. Hopefully that spun them around. Yeah. Okay. And you're getting power. Um, do you need sludge or do you produce sludge? I'm not sure. Always active. Show the working area. Good. Uh, let's get a little bone meal. And let's see what happens. Try about 20 of them. That'll give me almost a stack, I think. Yeah. Okay, so let's force one of these and see what this guy does with it. Okay. It makes sludge. So I'll probably need to find a way of dealing with the sludge. And I think... What we're going to want to do is set up some kind of item duct here with a servo uh, that's going to pull the saplings out 
and put them back into our friend. So let's get an item duct. Here we go, that should work. And let's get um, a servo, which I think, yeah, we got one of those. Okay. I'm going to dig out a little bit more of an area here uh, so I've got some room uh, to do this. Uh, I don't know that... Uh, I don't know that I need to whitelist this or anything, but I'm going to anyway, uh, just because it's probably a good idea. Uh, so let's set you to whitelist saplings there, right? Uh, always active. And hopefully uh, you should be pulling, yes, yes. Excellent. Uh, so you should be getting some saplings now. Yeah, that it looks exactly like what is going on. So good. Uh, that is working out. Now, what I'm not quite sure of is how we should deal with the sludge. Uh, so let's try uh, to use that drum that I made in a previous episode uh, with some fluid ducts and another servo. Uh, I think we'll just need one of you and pretty sure we need to make another servo. Check. And let's get that drum. So let's do, well, let's just do it like this for now, because I'm not sure. Uh, we can worry about trying to pretty this up later. Let's see how I want to do this. Hmm. Because I believe this may auto output, crops output. Yeah, I think it may auto output. We'll test that here in just a minute. Uh, but for now, let's get a fluid duct, which is connecting, so that's a good sign. And let's connect you to the drum, which maybe we'll put you under here. Do I set you to always active? Am I going to be able to access that? Yes. All right. So that is probably going to work for a little while. Yeah, I think that I think this will work for a little while. What I would like to do eventually, we're going to test this with a, a regular chest for now. Uh, just because I have quite a few of those. Uh, let's do a gold chest. Find a use for some of these uh, that I don't want to craft with, really. And what I'm hoping is that perhaps you will auto-output. Because that would be just uh, super awesome. Doesn't really look like it though, so I'm probably going to need to set up crops output up. Mm, doesn't really look like it is going to auto output. So now, uh, what we can do, that's not a big deal. Uh, we can just kind of rearrange this stuff a little bit, I think. Let's put you directly on top of this guy. So you should be serving the two tiles still. And what we're going to want to do is, of course, take a nap. Uh, because that apparently is a crucial part of any build on the server. There we go. And let's get ourselves a couple more... Uh, item ducks and another servo. Now eventually, it uh, looks like I'm out of iron nuggets. Uh, so we'll need to... I am seriously considering at least putting the iron. Did I, get, I did. Okay. Let's get some iron nuggets. Probably going to be a good idea to put at least the iron in one of those compacting drawers. Let's get a servo. I will work on that in a little while. 
and let's get another item docked. There we go. I don't know if we can upgrade these. Uh, I, I honestly don't know uh, how any of that will work. Um, see, I think I want you on the other side, though, just to make it a little easier to access. Let's put you there. And how about our chest can go right here? You're not connecting, are you? Nope. Good boy. And let's get the servo on. And that should be uh, putting the logs in there. Yes. Okay. Now, the other thing we can do, there is one other machine uh, that we can add to this to help kind of speed things up a little bit. And I think we will try to do it. Now, between the plant sower and the harvester here, the gatherer, there's this plant fertilizer. And I think we've got the stuff to make it. So let's give it a shot. Take a couple of gears. And I think we might have a glass bottle. Nope. Plant fertilizer. Glass bottle and easy enough to make. There we go. And so let's uh, go ahead and grab some bone meal. And we've got a, a good stack of it there, but I'd like a little more, to be honest. I don't know how much more of it we can grab, but let's just go ahead and grab all of it that we can here. That'll probably be good. That's, that's close to two stacks. I think we can live with that. So let's see... What happens if we set you down in this general area? I'm betting this is going to have a similar range. Looks like I actually set it down correctly that time. Uh, you should be getting power. And I believe we just want to give you some bone meal. And I think uh, if I give you bone meal, are you going to... Yeah, I think that's... Oh, yeah, that is definitely working. Just see if I did that right, showing... Oh, yeah, that is nice. Uh, that is definitely working. Let me turn that off now. Fertilizer input. Uh, so we can automate that insertion process as well. Nice. Sludge, huh? Can we do anything with sludge? Using a sludge refiner to obtain some material. Having the tank full will not slow the machine. So I guess we didn't need to do anything about that. But trees, pumpkins, melons, nether wart. That is nice. Sludge refiner. So that might be another thing to look at here. But I am liking this. Uh, this this isn't... Oh, and it's getting the apples for me, too. I didn't even think about the apples. That is really nice. Uh, I am definitely kind of liking that. Uh, and believe it or not, uh, I might move this a little closer uh, now that I know how uh, large it's actually going to be. Uh, if we move this closer to this, I might be able to uh, set up something so that it automatically puts the apples into our inventory over here. So I think uh, that is going to be really nice. I, I'm, I'm liking this system. Uh, honestly, I, I still think I kind of prefer the Ender I.O. method uh, because uh, that just works a little bit better, but uh, it's only one block. But I will say uh, this doesn't need any tools. Uh, we just have to supply it with power. Uh, that is kind of nice. What are we doing in here? 3,000? Nice. Let's see what we can make uh, with that sludge refinery. We are definitely getting chickens. I meant to do this a while ago. Uh, I'm going to grab a little of this wheat and 
see if we can't increase our chicken production. So as long as we're here, uh, let's just grab this and we'll feed those chickens at the top uh, a little bit of the seeds uh, that we get. I think there's only like six of them in there for now. Well, let's feed these guys and see if we can't get some more chickens going in there. There we go. That should get us a few more chickens in there. So the uh, the more chickens you have up here, the more uh, this thing will do. And did I just totally lose a piece of cobblestone? Seriously. Wow. Piece of wheat over there. Where did that cobblestone go? I mean, it's not like we don't have a bunch of it, but... It's kind of curious. Am I not? Is, am I missing something? There's no way it went in there. No, nope, did not go in there. Wouldn't have gone in my backpack, I'm pretty sure. No. Nope. Okay. Well, uh, let's put a piece of this wood up here for now. Ah, man, I just... Uh, I'm at a loss there. That is silly. But that should uh, increase our uh, chicken production. And now I think, uh, let's get some of this stuff put up. Saplings can go, uh, the wheat needs to go over in our kitchen. Is, uh, the coffee is nice for giving me a little bit of a speed boost. Uh, it really is. Uh, let's get that wheat put up. Well, I guess I got a little rice and some hops you can get put up too. Um, uh, the coffee is nice for a little bit of a speed boost, uh, but it only lasts for about uh, 30 seconds. Uh, I think I can do better than that. And I think it is time for us to start crafting some stuff. Uh, so let's look at our old friend, the Petal Apothecary. Uh, we are going to need some slabs, uh, some cobblestone. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that going. Let's uh, get a stack of cobblestone, because why not? Uh, let's see if we've got any stone we can hijack. Yep, I'll take a stack of that. Uh, how are we doing on wood? Because uh, I wouldn't mind having some wood. Um, let's use some of the acacia wood to start off with, and uh, we are going to need some cobblestone slabs, which we just happen to have some of, and we are, uh, let's take, let's make a crafting table. Uh, let's do that real quick before we go out there. I think it'll be handy to have one out there. There we go. And let's get started with Batania. So, uh, I kind of thought about how I wanted to do this, and I'm, I'm going to bring my path out here. Uh, maybe do about here-ish, just to start off with. Uh, we may do something different. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I'm thinking that this is going to be... Uh, the general line for Batania over here. So uh, let's pop down a crafting table in this general area. Uh, let's go ahead for now and get ourselves an infinite water source over here. Uh, we will be more than likely, I believe, uh, that we will be automating this. Uh, but for now, uh, we're going to do some stuff manually. I think uh, this might be closer. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I 
almost forgot it was over there. Uh, so let's do that, and then let's go take a nap. Because uh, it looks like it's starting to get dark already. It sure seems like it gets dark in this pack awful quick. Love this pack. Um, but I, you know, I at first I thought maybe, you know, just some of the, it was some of the packs that did that. But uh, from what I can tell, there we go, infinite water source now. All right, so let's get uh, the Petal Apothecary going. Uh, for that, we're going to need at least one petal. Let's see. I've got a bunch of these, so let's use one of those. But yeah, uh, I'm thinking it's just a Minecraft mechanic, because uh, it seems to get dark uh, awful quick, uh, no matter what pack I'm playing. So I don't know, you know if I'm just having too much fun. Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know uh, what's going on with that. So let's think about how uh, we want to do this. So I've got most of my stuff is over there. Hmm. Let me see. Maybe. And this is something I'm working on over here for grid power. I'm just kind of slowly working on that between episodes. Um, why don't we... Try to put you right here. I think that'll be good. And let's get some water in you. And let's see. I think what we should do, if we don't already have one, uh, let's look in our desk over here. We do not. So let's get a book. Uh, which I do have a fair amount of, and a sapling. And this is going to make something really useful. Let's get our Lexica Batania. And let's see what we need to craft our very first flower. Okay, so we read the introduction, generating flora, functional flora, basics and mechanics. I think this is what we want. We did our petal apothecary already. Uh, that's not really that difficult. You know what else I'm going to need to grab are a fair amount of seeds. Uh, so let's do that. I don't think I have any seeds. Nope. Uh, let's do that real quick. Let's get some seeds. I think we have a few. I think we can spare some. So let's see. Pure Daisy. What do we need to craft you? Turn the twigs. Oh, wait, what did that say? Well, not as unique and essential as the living blocks, perhaps this may come in handy. Another rack. Into cobblestone, soul sand into sand, ice into packed ice, water into snow. That is interesting. I did not know that. So that that actually is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know that we'll need it uh, ever, but that's pretty cool. So we're going to need four white petals. And I want to try something. I, I've never uh, tried it this way before. Uh, let's see if we can crush this, because why not? Uh, I've never tried to crush it before. I, I don't know if there's any benefit. It doesn't look like it wants to go in there. So let's see if you'll go in the pulverizer. And the short answer is no. <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, so let's get a tiny bit more bone meal. Uh, we won't need a whole lot for this to happen. And we're also going to want some shears. Uh, so let's make some shears really quick. There we go. And let's get a little bit of bone meal. I think probably uh, one or two bones will be enough. That'll probably be more than enough to get us started. 
and what we can do, I only have two of those flowers. Um, I do not have all of the 16 different flowers, I think. 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think I've got 14 of the 16 flowers that we need. And I think we might be able to get away with that. I think. Uh, I'm not going to promise, uh, but I think we can get away with that. Uh, so I've got two of those petals, uh, which I'm going to plant. And any of you that have seen my previous series uh, know what's coming next. Uh, when you bone meal those petals, you get these tall flowers. And if you break them, you don't get the flower. Uh, what you need to do is have some shears and break them with the shears. And then you get these tall flowers, one of which will give you four petals. Neat. So let's just go ahead and get the other ones. Uh, and now we have enough that what we're going to be able to do is... Oh, did I plant that behind there? Give me that back. That doesn't take very much. General Harumphing. Now let's see. And we can just toss you in and some seeds. There we go. And where's our bucket? And this is always hard for me to do quick enough. Um, but if you can do it quick enough, I think you have like 30 seconds. Yeah. You can right click with an empty hand and get your last operation in there. So now we have two of our pure daisies, uh, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, so let's get you over in this general area for now and let's use some of this wood here because uh, we're going to see something really neat. Uh, if this is the first time you've seen Batania, uh, I think you have probably never played uh, modded Minecraft before uh, because Batania is one of the oldest uh, mods. So there are a couple of mods that are a little bit older I think but uh, Batania has been around forever uh, and honestly, if I am your introduction to Batania, you should stop watching this video right now uh, because there are people that are well, well beyond me uh, in their understanding of Batania mechanics. Uh, I, at the best casing it, am an enthusiastic amateur when it comes to this stuff. Uh, I know there are several people that are much better uh, at Batania. The guys I play with on this server, uh, all three of them are probably better than me. Uh, at uh, Vitania. Uh, I still like to dabble with it because there are some very useful items uh, that you can get from it. Here comes our living wood. Uh, so this is going to be cool. Uh, that's the effect of the pure daisy. Uh, you can basically place down, uh, from my understanding, any log uh, and it will turn it into our living wood. And you can just harvest it like so. Uh, the lumber axe, uh, if it's not chopping down a tree, uh, I believe we'll do a three by three of wood on the ground. And let's get a little bit of living stone. Uh, and we'll see a similar neat feature happen with the stone here. And we will get our living stone. Uh, so in the meantime, let's see if we can't get our mana wand going. Now we're going to need a couple more petals. Let's see, I've got a bunch of these purple ones, so let's get the purple ones. And you can use different colors. Uh, different colors will give you uh, different kinds of wands, but I think you can use the same color. Or maybe not. Oh, you know what I forgot? Uh, and this is what I mean. Uh, we need to make some twigs first, uh, which I think we make like so. And we're going to need three of those, I believe. Yeah, because this is the wand here. We need three of those twigs. That should give us our wand of the forest. There we go. Nice little wand of the forest. Here comes our living wood. It's our hammer. Nice.
Nice. Okay. Uh, so I believe the next step here is we're going to want to get a mana pool. Something like this. Nice. And let's get you, oh, I don't know, down over in this area. Let's just go ahead and fill you up with water. Because I got a feeling we're going to need to make some more of you. Uh, let's see what else we need. Now, we want to generate some mana is what we're going to want. Uh, I'm going to need a little gold for this, if I remember right. So let's go grab a little bit of gold. I think about half a stack will be good. And we'll just want to, we'll keep this out here in this chest because we're going to uh, need to make several of what I'm about to make. Uh, not right away. We can get away with just one for now. And let's go take a nap before anything bad happens. We are getting uh, a little over time on this episode, so I'll try to finish this up pretty quick. At least try to get our second flower made. And our second flower, I believe, that I am going to want to craft. We might make a flower pouch at some point. I've never made one of those either. Uh, let's see. Uh, we want generating flora, and let's do the endo flame. Uh, I've, I, I'm pretty good with the endo flame. Uh, I didn't really mean to bookmark you, but shift click. Okay, there we go. Now let's see what we need to make an endo flame. We need two mystical brown, red, and a light gray. So let's see, mystical red, brown, and do we have a light gray? Mystical gray. The light gray may be the one that I don't have. That might be a problem. Oh, well, let's see. Hmm. Uh-oh. Let's see, where can I get a mystical light gray flower? What about over here? Are you mystical grays? Mystical gray. How about a light gray? I could have sworn that we had some mystical light grays around here. Hmm. Maybe I'll check the grid really quick because I could have sworn that I had some. Hmm. No, there's none there. And uh, the gray flower will not work. If you're, if you're wondering uh, if that will work, it will not. Uh, the Lexica Botania is very specific uh, when it says that it needs a particular kind of flower. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to look around here for a minute. That's flax. I think there's a flower forest around here somewhere really close. We might luck out and find a mystical light gray there. Here we are. Uh, hopefully there's one here really quick. What are you guys? Lilacs? Wow. I can't believe, what are the chances? I had 14 of the 16 flowers that we need and I still somehow don't have one of the flowers th uh, that I need to craft uh, the flower that I want. Uh, that is ridiculous. I wonder how Minecraft knows. You know, I, I, I'm starting to wonder, you know, Minecraft's been around for a while. Maybe it's uh, becoming self-aware. Hmm. That is crazy. I could have sworn that I had a mystical light gray flower. There's got to be one around here somewhere. I mean, I've even got the uh, mystical black flower, and that's actually kind of hard to find, usually. A few more of the mystical white flowers. Plenty of aliens, uh, which I've never actually used for anything. Wow. If I don't find one here in about a minute, I think we might need to go ahead and wrap up the episode. I'm not going to waste a whole bunch more time. 
Wow. Really? Hmm. Well, you know what we could do? There is another route uh, before I give up entirely. There is another route we can take uh, that will get us the flower we need. So let's head back to the base because I think we might be able to make uh, this other flower. I normally don't do it in this order, but I think they've left me with no choice. See if we can't just hurry up and get back over there. I'd like to get uh, some kind of flower crafted today. Because this flower, uh, I think it either needs mana or uh, performs better with mana. I could be wrong about that. Uh, so let's get it crafted and see what it does. But I've uh, never tried to craft it without. Uh, let's see. Which one was it? I believe it's the intro pinion. No, that's not it. No. Not a munch to you, is it? No. Functional floor. Here we go. Let's see. There, I think that's the one we want. There we go. This will grow new flowers. Yeah, we're nowhere near ready for the Jaded Amaranthus. Uh, so unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to wrap this episode up. I will continue looking for the mystical, elusive light gray flower, uh, however. And we will be back next time, and we will jump right back in to crafting up our endo flames and getting some uh, mana going so I'm really sorry about that guys I really thought we were going to get that started today so wow uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today anyway uh, we'll be back next time thanks for stopping by today and take care